What is the original model of a Christian Science nursing facility? And I'm talking about back in 1908 when Mrs. Eddy wrote the bylaw for Christian Science Nurse. Well, to begin to answer that question though, let's look at some of the models that are prevalent today in Christian Science Nursing facilities. Reading through various facility mission statements, well, it led me to question whether or not they can fulfill their mission to quote unquote provide Christian Science Nursing care. And that was a common word that was used if we look at the common examples of phrases used in these mission statements, Facility XYZ provides Christian Science Nursing Care. Can Christian Science Nursing Care be dispensed as if it were a commodity? Commodity is defined as an article of trade or commerce, especially a product as distinguished from a service. The only possible providers of Christian Science Nursing are the Christian Science Nurses themselves. The primary care that they give is non-physical and spiritually based because Christian Science Nursing is a religious profession established in 1908, founded upon the theology of Christian Science. These carers, these Christian Science Nurses, also have additional training and expertise to ably provide physical care, such as bed care, mobility aid, cleansing and covering wounds. Now contrastingly, in a medical secular care hospital or facility, the registered medical nurses are more or less interchangeable parts within a system in the sense that the RN staff can rotate but still provide near identical care to the same patients consistently. You know, enough emphasis cannot be placed on the fact that Christian science nursing is fundamentally a spiritual career based on the healing practice of individual Christian science practitioners representing themselves as Christian science nurses. Therefore, each Christian Science nurse's care is as distinct and unique as are each Christian Science treatment given by a Christian Science practitioner. Christian Science nursing then can't be viewed as either a commodity or a primarily physically based service. Thought, writes Mary Baker Eddy, founder of the Christian Science Church, imbued with purity, truth, and love, instructed in the science of metaphysical healing, is the most potent and desirable remedial agent on earth. This is the standard of soulful and spiritual caregiving that the Christian Science Nurse strives for. The pathways which lead each Christian Science Nurse into this ministry are one of a kind and represent a life spiritually transformed from the inside out. We're blessed in honoring and understandingly respecting these unique practitioners, workers whose spiritual growth gained daily and yearly bring healing to their fellow man. So how can a mission statement for a Christian Science Nurse facility be better crafted to accurately reflect a precise concept of Christian Science Nursing as it is set forth in the manual of the Mother Church? Surely if we get that right from the beginning, we'll be building on a stronger foundation. The mere existence of a Christian Science Nurse facility doesn't guarantee that it can provide Christian Science Nursing care. Beautiful rooms, lifters, adjustable beds, wheelchairs, kitchens, support staff are needed peripherals and tools which serve the activity of Christian Science Nursing to better care for the patient. But it is the Christian Science Nurses themselves that are at the fulcrum of every Christian Science Nurse facility. But the proper rendering of this vision is mostly unaccomplished, and we will be exploring why in this blog series. Fulcrum is defined as a thing that plays a central or essential role in an activity, event, or situation. A facility is an extension of the individual Christian Science Nurse's private practices. In it, they can meet the needs of their patients when the home setting is impractical or unsafe. Therefore, it also supports the church community and enables more opportunity for the practice of spiritual healing. This as yet unexplored original model of Christian Science Nursing Facility, largely unexplored, begins exactly where it should, with a professional team of individual autonomous Christian Science Nurses working together as equals. That is, it's non-hierarchical. That's key. Surrounded by a team of appointed supporters and helpers, thus enabling the many aspects of running a facility as a unified whole, from kitchen help to maintenance, to accounting to fundraising. A key element in Christian Science Nursing is self-government. The Christian Science Church is actually designed hierarchy-free. 
The Heavenly Law is Broken, writes Mary Baker Eddy in Science and Health with Key to the Scriptures, by trespassing upon man's individual right of self-government. In order for the genuine healing office of Christian Science Nursing to be carried out, any imposed hierarchy between or above Christian Science Nurses has to be abolished. This can be deduced by the lack of any such bylaws such as Head Christian Science Nurse or Director of Christian Science Nursing in the Church Manual. They're not there. Those titles are invented, contrived, part of a foreign system superimposed upon the Christian Science Church from management philosophies of the Industrial Revolution. Mary Baker Eddy, who authored the Church Manual, writes, A general rule is that my students should not allow their movements to be controlled by other students, even if they are teachers and practitioners of the same blessed faith. In the Church Manual, Christian Science nurses are described as self-reliant, spiritually mature, responsible, experienced Christian Science practitioners with a track record of healing work. They would never shrink from accepting cases as a Christian Science practitioner because they understand its practice and have proven to be successful healers. This is all baked in in the Christian Science Nurse Bylaw. In Eddie's day, the Christian Science Nurse had a CS after their names. The application for the Christian Science Journal directory listing required three examples of healing work with accompanying letters from those healed. If they had a business card, it could have stated Mary Smith CS, Christian Science Nurse. This is how the cards were printed in the Christian Science Journal. We have no record of Mary Baker Eddy, the author of all the bylaws, ever pointing out conflict with the bylaw uh, use of initials CS. Only pages before it in the church manual. It says, uh, a member of the mother church shall not place the initial CS after his name on circulars, cards, or leaflets which advertise his business or profession, except as a Christian science practitioner. Christian science nurses are Christian science practitioners. This is the intention, and that's the design. The vision for Christian science nurse, as laid out by Mary Baker Eddy, seems over the years to have been obscured and lost. The healing practices of Christian science nurses was minimized for decades, beginning a very short time after Mrs. Eddy's passing. Not only was a Christian science nurse supposed to be a Christian science practitioner, they had the additional responsibility to acquire competency in the skills needed to take proper care of the sick in a sick room. The mission of every Christian Science nursing facility should be firstly to serve the Christian Science nurses who are at the fulcrum of its activity. It enables a team of individual professional Christian Science nurses to extend the borders of their private practices and better fulfill their manual-based healing activity in cases when it's not practical or possible to care for the patients in their the patient's own home. Communities of well-intentioned Christian scientists have for many years unwittingly disenfranchised Christian science nurses through the establishment and perpetuation of hierarchical structures. The results were a gradual encroachment upon the rights of Christian science nurses to self-govern and self-direct their own practices. Most ironically and tellingly, they have ended up at the very bottom of these hierarchical pyramid structures. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, hit the little bell icon so you'll get notified uh, the moment I upload any new videos.